I can use this same burr at an angle like this and go right along that facial margin and flare it out just a little bit so I've got a nice smooth shoulder. So let's catch up where we are now. We've got um, the preparations complete on the upper right side, two, three, four, and five. We have uh, finished our margins. We've gone around each tooth with our Elman Electrosurgery using a very small tip. It's called the Elman Vary Tip, V-A-R-I, Vary Tip. Still have a little bit more to do. I still got to come back and finish these margins. This is an area right here where the old gold crown didn't come all the way out to the margin, so I'm going to come back and finish that down a little bit. Uh, I'll probably go back and redo the tissue a little bit, catch any little tissue tags, and make sure that these margin areas are totally opened up before we take our impression, but we'll do that at the end. Uh, for now, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to take a little more off right here. There we go. So let's get this last little... We'll, finish, we'll come back and finish this margin down a little bit, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Posterior teeth. So we start up here on the, on the right side. We can take a, take a scan around. We've got our buildups done, our preps complete, our margins finished. We've also taken our electrosurgery and clean that out and finish this little margin over here. Uh, everything's looking pretty good. We've got everything clean, shaped. Uh, those four, then quick tour of the other side. We've got uh, the bicuspids done. The molar's looking good. We've got good access to the rubber. The way the rubber dam clamp fits, it's really nice because it gives me good isolation, good protection. You can see the margin's just about in the right place. When I take the rubber dam clamp off, of course, I'll have to check the location of this margin, but it usually is very close. Sometimes I'll have to just touch it a little bit. But for the most part, we're in really good shape all the way around. We've got our margin just slightly subgingival. I'll recheck that before we take our impressions. But uh, I think we're pretty much done with the posterior. Now we're ready for the anterior reduction. I use my burr as my depth guide. I'll be taking about a little less than half the thickness of this burr, something like that. Looking a very small amount here. Even less in the gingival area. 